If you've been looking for a creative outlet that doesn't require a series of night classes at the local Votech school, we've got you covered. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and this is 40 fun and funky ways to use your hot glue gun. 1. Build your 3D sculpture. You don't have to be an artist, just do something simple. In this case, take an inexpensive inflatable ball in the size of your choice. Once fully blown up, start gluing a variety of natural wooden sticks you've collected from your back or front yard until you have a complete globe shape. After the glue has had time to fully set, pop the ball and pull it through one of the openings in the design. Leave it natural or help it coordinate with your decor with a can of spray paint. 2. Bring under the sea into your living room. For this, you'll also need some spare wire or old wire clothes hangers. You can create a wonderful coral reef display as big or as little as you'd like with wire, hot glue, and acrylic paint. Start by sculpting the branch shapes and securing them with more wire. If you want a wall display, try to keep it fairly 2D or flatter. If you would like to create a more 3D piece, you can let the branches move out to all sides. For this option, you'll also need a base to secure it to. Use the hot glue to create a coral-like texture. Once the shape and texture are set, paint the entire piece in red, white, orange, or pink. 3. Custom Cake Toppers This is more advanced and a less messy version of the glue and glitter technique we all did in elementary school. Wax paper makes a great work surface for this type of project, and wooden barbecue skewers from the local dollar store make perfect supports. Begin by sprinkling some of the confetti over your workspace. Draw the shape, word, numbers you want with the hot glue, plus a squiggly line down the center where the skewer will go. Very quickly place your skewer and cover the design with more confetti. Once the glue is set, remove the topper from the workspace and add to your cake. 4. Go Miniature Palette Style Palette objects are so fun. So many things can be achieved with these pre-cut sets of reclaimed wood, so why not take the idea and go tiny? With hot glue and craft sticks, popsicle sticks, you can make yourself a complete set of coasters in no time. 5. Create a paper wreath. If you have a stash of decorative paper or an old book that's falling apart, this would be a great way to upcycle them into something cool. Use it by itself as wall decor or as a picture or mirror frame. Besides the paper and the glue gun, you'll also need a foam wreath. You can get these at your local arts and crafts store. Check out the step-by-step -step tutorial at allparenting.com. 6. Continue the under the sea theme. This one takes no excessive thinking, so it's good to do when you want to relax. You'll need a framed mirror, a whole set of seashells, and of course, your trusty hot glue gun. Start by laying out the shells where they work best. Once you have a design you're satisfied with, glue everything in place. Then, just hang and enjoy. No sew solutions, easier than a needle and thread. 7. Rustic Coasters Without a Stitch one thing I've noticed over the years, it's not possible to have too many coasters. This particular project provides a rustic flair to your decor that can even be dressed up if you get inspired. Choose some twine from your local hardware store and stock up on hot glue. Simply start coiling the twine into a flat spiral and glue as you go. Make sure you keep the twine flat. It may want to curve up into a bowl shape if you aren't careful. Once you've reached the diameter you want, snip off the excess and glue the ends thoroughly. You can leave them as they are now, or stencil the design of your choice on top of each one with acrylic paint. 8. No Weave Baskets Yes, this is a 3D version of the project we just did. This time, you get to let the bowl shape form. Start the same way you did with the coasters. This will provide a flat bottom for your basket. Once you've created the bottom diameter, continue coiling the rope upward, always gluing as you go. If you're adventurous, experiment with creating different curves to the sides as you go along. 9. Coil Storage Tote Now that you've got the coil idea down, why stop there? With more rope and a lot more glue, you can use the same method as the coasters and baskets to create a one-of-a-kind storage tote or even carry-all totes. 
follow this helpful tutorial by Alice and Lois to see how to make more shapes than the standard cylinder shape from the bottom up. Add handles of your choice and you've got a great place to store books, toys, and more. 10. Make a beautiful headband out of scrap leather. If you have an old leather or vinyl jacket, bag or pair of pants, and you know how to braid, this project will be a snap. You can either create a full circle headband or use an inexpensive open-ended plastic band as the base. Create a braid from the strips of leather or vinyl twice as long as the length you need for the final product. Braid the pieces together either loosely or tightly until you reach your desired length. For the full circle version, secure the ends together. If you're using a plastic headband as a base, glue the braid to the plastic. 11. Turn an old t-shirt into an old headband. Old t-shirt? Check. Sharp scissors? Check. New headband? Awesome. There are several ways you can do this. For a really simple design, gather multiple strips of your old shirt together to layer them together. Glue the ends and then glue a piece around the secured ends for a more finished look. A second option would be to cut three thicker strips and braid them together. Glue the ends together and you're good to go. 12. Stock up your kiddos' kitchens. Play kitchens are only so much fun without some play food to go with them. Stock up your children's play pantry with some felt, cotton balls, and glue. For a full menu of ideas, check out this tutorial at everydaydishes.com. 13. Upscale as you upcycle your holy jeans. It never fails. You get a pair of jeans that fit you so perfectly, you'll want to keep them forever. Then, they get a hole in them and the world feels like it's coming to an end. Before you toss them in a giveaway pile, try patching them instead. With a pair of lace or spare fabric, you can transform your worn out jeans into a stylish set of gams. Start by turning your pair inside out, then hot glue the patch over the hole with plenty of overlap to help give it more staying power, not just for sticking stuff together. There's more to hot glue than just sticking objects together. It also makes for a very durable and versatile medium to create 2D and 3D designs and objects. With a little practice, you'll be able to draw any pattern, design, or even any text on just about any surface. 14. Add depth to a plain glass vase. This will work best for a clear vase or plastic vase. If you can draw a straightest line, you can do this. Simply start by drawing around the vase in a line that coils progressively the full height of the piece. Don't worry if your lines aren't perfectly straight or if they touch in places. These imperfections will add to the look. 15. Have a collection of vases or nicely shaped bottles taking up room in a closet? Customize them with a decorative pattern or a line of script written in hot glue. Once it's dried, you can paint over it with acrylic or glass paint. 16. Customize votive candle holders. This is similar to our vase idea, with an extra step. After gluing your design onto a plain glass votive holder, wait for it to dry thoroughly. After the glue is completely set up, carefully remove the glue design from the glass container, keeping the glue intact. Paint the glue design in your color of choice. Let it dry, and then insert the glass holder back into the glue design cylinder. For extra sparkle, use metallic spray paint. 17. Decorate a sign. Have an old wooden box or some reclaimed wood lying around? Add a personal statement using standard hot glue or upgrading to color hot glue and gun sticks. For best results, draw your idea onto the paper first. Once you're satisfied with the look, transfer it to your wooden box or sign. Then simply trace over it with the hot glue. If you're in the mood, attach some embellishments such as silk or paper flowers, buttons or ribbon to complete your look. 18. Let those fall colors come out all year long. Do you enjoy changing up your decor to match the seasons? Don't let the end of summer get you down. Instead, bring even more sparkle to your autumn. Using parchment paper, glue, and glitter, you can create stunning fall foliage. Just draw a leaf design on the parchment. Sprinkle glitter on immediately before the glue can set, and then peel it off when it is set. Shake off the excess glitter, and fall has arrived. 19. Make your own frosty, the snowman. 
Using the same technique we used for leaves, make a solid or even a melted snowman. 20. Let it snow. Ready for snow but aren't seeing anything yet? Make your own. Just like we did above with the leaves, gather together your parchment paper, glue, glitter, and even your leftover nail polish. Once you've decorated, you can have a little white or red or pink or blue or gold winter, no matter where you live. 21. Avada Kedavra. Presto changeo. Have a Harry Potter themed birthday party coming up for a special kid? The wands are a must. All you need is a pack of chopsticks, brown paint, and some paint brushes. Use the glue to create the textured designs of the wand handles. Once the glue is set, paint the whole thing brown and you're ready for a magical duel. 22. Make your own textured roller. This is something that is popular with ceramic artists, but can also be a lot of fun for your kids when they're enjoying an afternoon with Play-Doh. Pre-made versions of textured rollers can go anywhere from $5 to $30, and of course, you're stuck with the patterns available. But if you have some spare PVC pipe or even an old rolling pin, you can create a completely original design that's all your own. Start by stenciling in your pattern on the roller. Next, trace over it with a Sharpie marker to make sure it stays on long enough to trace over it with hot glue. Finally, trace over the design with the glue and let it dry. Now you'll have a custom designed roller that will imprint soft clay and dough. 23. Turn an ordinary plastic egg into a super cool dragon egg. This fun project requires a few more supplies than some others, but it's well worth it. You'll need plastic eggs, black paint, silver paint, sandpaper, tissue paper, or toilet paper. To start, lightly sand the shine off the plastic egg. This will let the glue adhere better. Draw your desired design on the egg. When the glue is dry, paint the egg black. Once the black paint is dry, use your tissue paper or toilet paper to dab the silver paint around the egg over the black. 24. Make occult apothecary bottles. No longer do you need to throw out or recycle those extra large ibuprofen bottles and vitamin bottles. Now you can turn them into fabulous apothecary bottles. To start, like the eggs above, sand off the shine so the area will be primed. Draw on your desired design, then paint it black. While the black paint is still damp, sponge on a brown paint so it blends with the black and creates a textured look. 25. Make a new waterproof cover for your USB memory stick. Have a memory stick with a cracked or otherwise damaged case? Don't throw it away. Make a new case. To be safe, transfer any data from the stick to other devices until you're sure there isn't any permanent damage. First, carefully remove the outer cover from the stick. Next, create a pool of glue on a piece of parchment paper. Place the data storage area in the pool of glue, making sure to keep the end that plugs into a USB completely clear of glue. Cover the top of the data storage area with more glue. You can gently fold the parchment paper around the glue to act as a mold if it starts to spread too much. Once the glue is dry, use a box cutter or other sharp knife to trim the excess glue off and shape it. 26. Paint with melted crayons. Crayons come in every color imaginable, and there are perfect size for most glue guns. So instead of putting a glue stick through your gun, shove a crayon in there instead and create your artwork. Melted crayons will stick to just about anything, from paper or canvas to glass bottles and Christmas ornaments. Plan through since you'll only be able to use one color at a time, and switching them out will not be easy, if impossible. 27. Turn paper into stained glass. What do you get when you combine paper, hot glue, and oil pastels? A very impressive faux stained glass effect. To start, draw your design onto your paper with a pencil. Next, fill in the design with the oil pastels. Use a blender stick or Q-tips to blend the oil pastels into each other for a smoother, glass-like look. Finally, outline the lead lines with the hot glue, then smudge black and gray oil pastel over them. 28. Dress up a greeting card. If you're into scrapbooking or other paper craft, here's a great idea to show off to your friends. 
The next time you make a custom card for a friend's birthday, wedding, or other, just use the same drawing ideas we've been discussing to add a touch of something extra. 29. Custom Christmas Cheer Many of the techniques we've discussed already could be utilized to create a whole tree of original ornaments that the entire family can be involved in creating. Gather up the paper, glitter, paint, and more, and make a fun Saturday of it. 30. Embellish a picture frame. Blank photo frames are available at most craft supply stores and we're just waiting to be decorated. From glue dots and cute sayings to adjusted embellishments, your glue gun will make those frames an extension of your personality. 31. Let it snow. Again. Start by creating snowflakes as we did above. After they're dry, use a little more glue to attach them to bobby pins, barrettes, plastic headbands, and more. Remember the leaves we mentioned above? You can have a set of accessories for each season. 32. One-of-a-kind earrings for every outfit. In a similar manner you made the snowflakes, you can create these chic-looking earrings by creating glue dots that bleed together. Finish off with acrylic paint or your trusty nail polish, then add the dangle hardware. And you've got an addition to your accessory wardrobe that no one else has. 33. Dot earrings for your day wear. Need some earrings that aren't quite as showy? With the use of post blanks instead of dangle blanks, you can create an entire set of simple but elegant earrings. First, set the earring post blanks onto something that will keep them upright and steady. For this purpose, you could use a large school eraser, cork board, or wine cork. Once set, make a glue dot on each flat part of the earring blank. Once the glue is set, finish off with nail polish for extra shine. 34. Beautiful custom-made pendants and parts. You've got the earrings, now for a necklace. First, check out this video tutorial by Innova Crafts and learn how to make a stunning and easy heart pendant. Then, take it a step further by creating templates for any other shape you might like. You could even add a second jump ring to the bottom and link several pendants together for a more dramatic look. 35. Set yourself off with gold filigree. Ever see an amazingly beautiful gold necklace in a shop window and wish you could have something like it? Now you can have one that looks just like it. Create a lacy spun wire necklace design, spray paint it gold, then attach it to black ribbon or a gold colored chain for a stunning faux piece that will have your friend guessing if it's real or not. 36. Finish the set. Whether you go with a defined shape or an abstract design, use your hot glue to fill in a rectangular area with the length of the ring size you want. Add some rhinestones or other embellishments, then glue the ends together to create your final piece. 37. Cool as Ice Masquerade Mask Don't wait for Halloween to create this beauty. Make it just because. Then throw a costume party so you have an excuse to wear it. You'll need a glue gun, lots and lots of rhinestones, glitter nail polish, silver nail polish, and basic blank mask for a template. Note, in this video, Claire makes a cast of her face, but if you don't feel like going through that hassle, the blank mask I put on the list of supplies will work just as well. 38. Take flight with cell phone fairy wings. What is a sparkly masquerade mask without a custom set of fairy wings? You'll just need thin poster board, cellophane, glitter, wire hangers, scissors, a knife, iron, glue, and hot glue. When these are finished, they have an almost ethereal feeling to them. Find the full tutorial at Damien Rules. 39. Make a custom glue gun stand. Tired of your glue gun constantly tipping over? So did Pauline. Then she discovered Sugru Setting Rubber. Check out her tutorial and learn how to create your glue gun stand. 40. Take your glue with you. Have you ever been out and about and come across a situation where all you would need to move forward was a dab of glue? Now you can take your glue with you, without the inconvenience of a glue gun. Simply add a dab of glue around a wooden matchstick, half an inch or so below the strike point. Then, when you need it, strike the match. 
The flame will heat the glue to the melting point, while the wooden stick makes a great fine point applicator. Time to turn on the heat! And that's it for now. For more DIY hacks and decorating ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next videos.